Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed? It's time for more Ed Shell Raga, the appointed time of refreshing. Come on, you know how we do this. Let's go. Welcome to Moed Shel Raga, the appointed time of refreshing. We're going to the Word of God in the book of Psalms 119, verses 159 and 160. And if you have not seen the previous Moed Shel Ragas, we encourage you, go back. We started at verse 1. Today, again, we are focusing on verses 159 and 160. I'm reading from the Life Application Study Bible. It says, See how I love your commandments, Lord. Give back my life because of your unfailing love. All your words are true. All your just laws will stand forever. My dearly beloved, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear sons and daughters, I want to remind you that God's word is true. He is a just God. His laws are also just. The psalmist here says, See how I love your commandments. Now remember yesterday we said, I hate the traitors. I hate these traitors. Why? Because they care nothing about your word. And then he says, See how I love you? See how I love your commandments? Because I hate those that do not follow them. See how much I love your commandments, Lord. So he asked the Lord to give me back my life because of your unfailing love. All your words are true. All your just laws will stand forever. And I am so happy to decree and declare today that all the words of God are true. Now the words that we hear in the media, the words that we hear by different people, they may not be very true. But the words of God, His commandments, His decrees, they are true. Absolute true. And all His laws are just. And His laws will stand forever. There's nothing can stop the law of God. Nothing. Man may try. But because our King, our Father, 
is sovereign. His laws are just and they will stand forever. Whatever God has said, it will be. So if you're waiting on something that God has said, you can rest assured that it's going to come to pass because he will establish everything that he has said that he's going to do. He's going to do it. He will establish it. He will settle it. It will happen. Our timing is just not exactly God's timing. So I want to admonish you. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. For he will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. Because all of his words are true. And his just laws. I love how he describes it. His just laws. They stand forever. Thank you, Lord. Let's pray. Father, thank you. Thank you for being a just God. Thank you for being a fair God. Thank you for being a righteous God. We thank you that your laws are just and they stand forever. Father, we thank you that all of your words are true. And everything that you have said, every word that you have spoken, you will bring it to pass. Heaven and earth will pass away before one jot or tittle of your word will fall to the ground. So Father, we adore you. We love you. We bless you. We honor you. We thank you for being a loving God. Your love is unfailing. We can count on your love. When we're going down, we can count on your love because it's unfailing. You will save us. You will redeem us when we cry out to you. Father, we confess our faults before you. None is righteous but you. We ask that you but wash us in your blood. Cleanse us. Take out every mar, every stain, every blemish in the name of Jesus so that we can be pure before you. We accept you as Jehovah said, Canoe, the Lord, God, our righteousness. Father, we thank you for being so good, so loving, so kind, so faithful. We give you the glory, honor, and praise we lift up every ministry gift. We lift up every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor and teacher, every psalmist, every worshiper, every Levite. We lift up every intercessor, every bishop. Father, we're praying that you would do a new thing in the earth, that your whole glory, all oh God, would fill the earth Beckon the backsliders back. We pray for the backsliders that they will return to you before it's everlasting too late. We pray, oh God, for the sinners. We pray for missionaries, oh God. We pray for every tribe, tongue, and nation. Every continent. Every district. Every city, state, every province, every place on this earth, we pray that you would raise up sons of God, that we would manifest, take our rightful places, and shine in this dark world. Father, we love you. We ask that you would synchronize our hearts and minds with yours so that we can make you proud and we'll walk in tandem with you. We crown you as Lord, Master, Savior, King of our lives because you are our King. We are your domain. We are your servants and we humbly submit our lives to you. We decree and declare we will represent you here on this earth. Holy Spirit, help us to represent well, to be the ambassadors of the Most High God, of the kingdom of God. Holy Spirit, help us to bring the kingdom of heaven everywhere we go, pushing back the darkness and lighting up this dark world. Father, we love you. We bless you. Thank you again for your unfailing love. Thank you that your word is true, that your laws are just, 
We love you and we bless you. We thank you for hearing our prayer and always hearing our prayer and moving on our behalf. God, we are so grateful. Thank you so very much. All these things we ask in your precious son's name, in the name of Yeshua, our Mashiach. In the name of Jesus, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, beloved, this has been Moet Shalraga, the appointed time of refreshing. I pray you've been blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord.